projects and work examples. In this video, we will be learning about a projects or work example section of your portfolio. We will explore the reasoning behind including this section, which projects to include, and how best to showcase your relevant projects. The purpose of your portfolio is to provide evidence of your skills. A work examples or project section will be the most effective way to do this, as you can let any potential employers know that you're capable of doing the things you say you can. A helpful first step is to organize all the projects or work examples you have to potentially use on your portfolio. Create a list of all the projects you've worked on, along with some details about each one. Once you've documented everything you've worked on, it will be easy to reference before meetings and interviews to cite projects that might not make it into your portfolio's final cut. If you don't necessarily have a large bank of projects to choose from, you can include relevant things you've worked on for school. Moving forward, this framework will be helpful to document any new projects as you go forward in your career and gain more experience. The next step is to evaluate which of the projects in your inventory would be the most relevant and impressive to any employers in your chosen field. Aim for quality, not quantity, in terms of the projects you include. Recruiters would rather see three well-presented and thoughtful examples of your work than 10 projects that just skim the surface. Make sure that if you're featuring any group projects, you are able to identify your specific contributions to the project. Once you've chosen three to five projects that you think will be most reflective of your skills, you need to decide how best to display them. Photos or videos of the finished project are probably the most effective method. Choose one to three images or videos per project. If more visual content would be beneficial to potential employers, include it in something like a gallery or a link to an external page with all the relevant content. Depending on the platform you use to create your portfolio, there will be different gallery or photo display options. Play around with different layouts until you find one you are happy with. You'll want to add a title and a brief description of the project to give some context to any images you include. If you have no images of your project, feel free to include a longer description to give the reader a real feel for what you achieved. The work examples or project section is a time to get really creative with your portfolio. So have fun with different layout options until you find something that works for you and your portfolio. In the next video, we will learn about testimonials and the benefits of adding a testimonial section to your portfolio.